Hola Unconventionals, I'm Amelia. And I'm JP. And we're sharing our unconventional life with you from Ecuador. And today we are in Momo, which is a gourmet farm to table restaurant here in Olón, run by a couple of expats that employs local Ecuadorians. We're going to share their inspiring story with you while they prepare our delicious meal. Yay. I'm really excited. <laughs> Cheers. Salud. Salud. While we wait for our appetizer, we want to introduce you to Johan and Anai, the owners of Momo. In Sweden, I was uh, working in an office. And I had, I don't know, 30, 40 employees. And uh, it was a company that didn't do so well at the time. Going to work in the morning, maybe having to fire someone, or, you know, the economy was bad. I felt really sad and down and I, I really felt that I want to change my life so I took a year off and went traveling which I done a lot in my life and I love it and this time I decided to explore South America I hadn't been there yet and I ended up in Ecuador and fell in love with this little town with Cabamba and decided to to switch country and try Try it. So I went back to Sweden. I told my uh, bosses in this company that, uh, "Ciao, I'm <laughs> off. I'm going to Ecuador." <laughs> oh, you're crazy! Why? And um, yeah, so that was a coincidence that I picked Ecuador. Came here. It was just a travel that ended up in my new home. So I I arrived here. To Ecuador um, after a long trip, I've been I, I, I left uh, Cordoba, Argentina, long time ago. Uh, looking for I'm very curious, so I was looking for some adventures to see the world, to to experience, and so around like eight years ago, I went to Europe, and then from Europe, I decided to come to. Um, uh, Latino America, and I went to Mexico, stay a little bit in Costa Rica, uh, Guatemala, been traveling, and and then after a while I decided to settle in. And Ecuador is still moving around, coming and going, but Ecuador was the place that uh, come, grabbed me, come, like uh, adopted me uh, very much. It, it's, uh, it's Ecuador has this this thing that this it make you uh, feel at home and uh, you can be whoever you want and 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 it's a space for you and uh, this I like it. See. I think we we uh, the concept is to, to add something to what what is missing around. So we wanted to do something that is not a copy of something that already exists and do something that might be a little bit new and exotic for the, the people that live here. Then we are passionate and love food, so we already we are in it. But, but And yeah. also I think it, it, it represents us a lot. It's pictures of our trips on the wall. Um, it's uh, books from our bookshelf everywhere. Uh, it's, um, it's in a way, it's part of our home. It's, uh, it's very much us. It's, it's our identity. We are we are definitely looking for to to to, to give as much as possible of what we have experienced in food in our life. That means that we have been to South Africa or to Asia and tried this, or we have traveled there, and we are also, of course, from our countries, from Scandinavia and from, from Argentina, which has uh, strong food cultures and a lot of inspiration to come from there. The concept isn't perfect or finished or, or there. It's, it's always a, a, a experimentation, and looking for new flavors and combinations, so outside of the, what you can normally find here. The name came to us by coincidence. Like that. Momo, like, it, we were brainstorming. Sí. And then Momo came up. And 
And Momo is a, a favorite dumpling from Nepal and, and uh, Tibet. Uh, so maybe that's where it comes from. And then we started looking and we found a lot of we other found things. That, 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 that a lot of things that we felt, see, we felt connected also. It's, um, it's a Greek god that uh, it, it was the only one that was um, uh, fired from the Olympus because uh, misbehaving. And we say, ah, okay, <laughs> Momo is. Uh, <laughs> and then it's also the, the, the um, the king of the carnival here in South America and Spain and um, north of Africa has has a lot of meanings, but for us it was kind of um, a funny word. After settling down, uh, it took me a year or two, but uh, and I got this restaurant to open up in uh, Vilcabamba in the Loja province, and I think we ran it for about five years, and four years into that I met Anna by coincidence dropped by and asked for work and then it took maybe two weeks and we started dating See? and Anai had been working and living down here on the coast for a few years before she came to Wilka and I think we managed uh, one year up there in the mountain before we both felt that the breeze of the sea will be a, a good change from, for, for us mm -hmm. to switch place and create a new future together. Because, okay. yeah, I had this restaurant and it was kind of my place. And we wanted to create something that is our place, our creation. We could see that um, this area was growing and it was uh, very interesting to move here. To, uh, for us, for the amazing beach, for the... For the beautiful place it is and for the rest also of the Also the good ones. vibes that is here, I think it's very laid back and not so much, I don't know, pressure and dramas and things, it's just a cozy, nice little place, beautiful. So uh, Juan is the, the guy that we normally hang out with uh, on the farm and so we go there to meet him, he shows us around what is, what is uh, happening at the moment, because it's not always, uh, you know, it, it, it has the seasonal thing with it. They have a um, beautiful um, finca called Rancho Tortuga. What's been interesting for us is that it's what you normally won't find on the, the local markets and, and the, the usual plants, so they have a little bit something special and this is actually perfect for us, this is what we're looking for. And the most important is that everything is organic, they really take care of um, the, the, the earth, the soil, yeah. the, the, the soil. and uh, then also he brings in stuff that we have on, the, on, the, on our little Delica Tessin store here. So. But it's, it's really nice to go out there because uh, to walk around on this uh, property uh, pick your own little things and, and it's a, such a nice feeling and it's a, away from town, it's really quiet and beautiful, a lot of birds and wildlife so we love to go out there. Yeah, when, when we came to the coast, um, on the idea was to do it, to do this uh, uh, Tienda o Delicatessen. We have <coughs> created some kind of like a um, net of distribution uh, that um, it's only for us. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't work like it does back home, where you have a, a distribution company that collects everything from the different importers or producers, and then they give it to the restaurant or to the shop, so you only get to make one call and you get everything. Here you have to make 200 calls to 200 different companies Same. to get the thing. <laughs> so it's quite a process. <laughs> Ecuador has fantastic products and, and it's also the idea of the tienda, to give a space to, to these uh, producers that really have worked hard for, for, for make uh, excellent products. Yeah, I, I could say that I, when I arrived here in Ecuador uh, 10, 11, 12 years ago, the variety was not what it is today. It's been an explosion the last 10 years and now you have uh, for example, on the beer market, it was two, two kinds of beer, maybe 
And now we have uh, maybe, I don't know, 150 uh, local artisanal uh, beer producers. Even in, in Olong here we have um, three craft beer producers. See. One so around it's the corner and the other <clears throat> there. And, it's and uh, of course they need a place to, to sell their products and we are so happy to do it. And it's a really high good quality. So this is a, it's amazing. Uh, so we, we are having um, around 12 employees now and they, they are uh, like a family for us. They, yeah. they really are a family for us. It's a, it's a we, and I think we have taken on a lot of these employees that maybe don't have the education for the job and have a little bit of experience but not much but we had this is what in a way what we have been looking for too. so we can kind of like teach them and, and get them into to what we are what we want and it has been working so good and they are quite all of them quite young and they learn so fast it's uh, it's incredible how how much they pick up and, 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 and go away so it's a uh, it's a uh, it's incredible and they have been bringing home good money, good salaries to their families and, and we have gotten support from their families and they help us find new employees, the ones that we have. We're like, okay, what do you, what do you guys think? We maybe need two more guys now with, because it's coming the high season and blah, blah, blah. Oh, I have a friend, I know someone. So it's, yeah. Oh, and they, they, are, they are hard workers. They are uh, very um, loyal. They uh, and and also and also always happy, always happy. We of course in the kitchen uh, you get through the stress moments, and yeah we go through the stress moment, and then we finish. We always have a routine. We finish everyone out of the kitchen. We make some jugos or we open a beer and share a beer and relax and just laugh and laugh. I don't, I don't know how they manage to laugh so much. And it's very, very fun. And also we've been through uh, personal life moments, uh, them, us, uh, through the quarantine, and we've been supporting each other uh, a lot, like a, like a friendship. See, I, very, I, very much. if I count now, I've been working for 25 years. Uh, all over and around, and I think this is the best team I ever had. It's, uh, it's, it's amazing. They are so um, happy to learn about uh, things like um, be on time at, at work, uh, be um, responsible. Responsible. For We've been doing English um, classes. See, <laughs> um, kitchen courses, uh, service courses and they uh, maybe they don't get this uh, everywhere um, so they, yeah they, they are it's a give and take uh, situation see, see. that is completely happy from both sides see. it's a it, happy love see. i think for us who we are there see there isn't any big mountains to climb or big challenges or like that we, we're so i don't know if we're used to lifestyle, traveling and sitting on a bus for 24 hours that it doesn't have a floor and you, yeah, you know, like really tough thing. So I guess we are, even if it it's, uh, goes wrong with orders and we don't get the, whatever we need for the restaurant in time or the tienda and it take two, three more days and it costs extra and all of this, it have become like, uh, instead of getting pissed off and angry and seeing it as a challenge and trying to change it's like yeah yeah it's what it is and you gotta learn to live with it and it's okay in our free time we just lay down on the beach like uh, iguanas like this get red <laughs> with a, a beer on the hand and a ceviche and just say oh life is good <laughs> is it like this for two days <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, it's true. It's, uh, it's very important for us to to, to cut, really cut, uh, take a, a, a holiday, travel, 
and, and get the inspiration back because um, uh, I think we, we work a lot with our creativity and it's just giving out the creativity okay. and, and it's a moment that you have to cut and, and start to, to get inspired again if not okay. uh, the, the, the machine doesn't work. I finally know the story behind the name Momo. Unconventionals JP would not let me ask them what the, uh, why they named their restaurant Momo until we did this video. So I've been dying to know, and now I know. <laughs> I had so much fun going out to the organic farm with Johan and Anai. Unfortunately, Amelia had to work her real job that day, so she couldn't go with me. She really missed out. That place was so beautiful. It was so cool to see all of the, the fresh produce growing and seeing them pick it so that they could come back and cook it for us. That's all we have for this video. A big thanks to Johan and Anahi for taking time out of their day to cook us this amazing meal and share their story with us. Yes, and if you would like to get in touch with them or come visit Momo here in Olón, Ecuador, I'll put a link to their Facebook page in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, leave us a like, please. We hope you have an unconventional day and we will see you all in our next video. Ciao. Ciao. All right, Amelia, let's dive in. No, I'm going back in. Before my ice cream melts. <laughs> I cannot believe how good this is. is. Well, yes, I can because everything they make here is so good. Riquissimo. Mm.